Hi everyone, I'm using the Let's See Is Tarot for our reading today. I'll choose three cards. Read one from the base of the pack and I'll also choose one from Anna Starts pack as well for some extra guidance. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. There we go. We have the Empress, the Six of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Fool. Okay, so they all came out the pack, and then we have at the base of the pack the King of Swords and also the Queen of Swords. So today is Christmas Eve and sometimes these times of the year really do bring back memories and are not always joyous. There's lots of people around that are going through grief and lots of people who are going through some kind of physical ailment. So it's time to step back and let go, let go of the reins and allow our bodies to guide us, to really listen to our bodies and not to go into conflict with what, however we're feeling, not to push through and force anything, just to be today, tomorrow and up to the full moon and beyond this energy this Christ consciousness is coming in from the heart of the galactic core so when we are able to sit in peace and allow that light to come in through our crown into our hearts into every cell of our bodies just spending that time in peace and that is our gift from God that is a beautiful gift that's coming in that will anoint our soul and we will receive a remembering a remembering of who we truly are as a soul so this year is one of just taking the hands off the reins allowing our hearts to guide us, allowing whatever comes up to come up and to sit with it. So we have the Empress who is coming through and Venus is in Scorpio and she is far away from home and she is sending healing to us all, to the Divine Feminine the Empress is all the queens of the tarot she's the Divine Mother so we're receiving this beautiful cleansing healing divine healing from the Empress from Venus who is there in Scorpio going down deep and we're able to really see things in a in a pureness of light and being able to bring ourselves into alignment with whatever may be coming to the surface for us. This is what Venus is doing. She's shining the light, the, the light of love and healing into our deepest places. So anything that may be coming up, if you're going through some, some kind of grief, some kind of challenges, discomfort know that you're not alone there are so many people who are going through the challenges and facing challenges this season then we have the six of cups and it's a card that brings up memory and together with the empress and venus and scorpio thing all oh, memories coming to the surface and it can bring some emotion and it's to sit with that emotion and feel it 
and allow it to work through us, breathe it, breathe it through us, allow it to work its way because that's what it's coming up into our awareness for, for a release so that we can, as we release those old memories, we have space there to create new, happy, uplifting thoughts and feelings that create a, a future on a higher timeline. So things come in, old memories may be coming to the surface because this is a, a really tender time for a lot of us and it is to to be at peace with that. Then we have the Two of Swords. So thoughts coming in that can disturb our peace. We're going to be amongst people that maybe we don't spend too much time with or things come out of the blue and take our attention away from our state of peace so whatever comes in and mercury is retrograded back into sagittarius so asking us to look at our communication where are we missing the mark where are we standing in a situation that was created from a place within us from an unconsciousness to really old light with whatever is occurring around us at this time to really step back and all the light the two of wands so you can see there she's got the globe and she's just gazing out into the horizon of a life visualizing and dreaming the other wand is just there waiting it's propped up at the side of the window and she's holding one so she's coming back into alignment with herself realizing no matter what we do out in our reality for anyone else we cannot solve everybody's problems and they may be projecting something into us or onto us that is is nothing to do with us and especially this time of the year and this is why we're being held so beautifully with venus in scorpio to allow that to occur we don't have to explain ourselves we do not have to feel guilty about anything to come back into this place and visualize visualize from this place of sacredness this is what this is all around. This is the charism starting to rise up through our chakras, uh, bringing up the um, the awakening and the um, the integration of our chakras and our kundalini rising. So as we uh, sit there in this quiet place, there's a, a world there. There are so many choices. And when we make those choices from a place of peace within that brings us peace, we know we're going to step into a conscious situation, a conscious choice of peace. And so then we start moving in that, that conscious way. And this is this is a activation of that, taking us on a new path of feel. This is the card of Uranus that's in Taurus that is still in retrograde but by the end of January 2024 will be direct. So it's the last planet in all the planets to station and go direct. So it's still there going and doing its, its thing in Taurus, taking us back, covering ground can bring in sudden shocks and change and it's how we deal with that do we get all up and go into a reactive mode or do we actually sit back and just pause 
and bring ourselves back into a conscious place and realize that a long time ago Archangel Michael bring, brought through a message and he took me to the Bible of Mary Joseph and traveling to Bethlehem heavily pregnant and as they knocked at the door of the inn each inn was busy they had no room at the inn and Archangel Michael showed me that this is our crowns during this this divine time of the year this sacred time of the year we're all busy 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 so there's no room at the inn for the Christ light and Jesus was born in a stable which is spelt stable the way we as in stable when we're stable in that humble surroundings with animals with quiet with that star shining down upon him the integration of the cosmos that is helping us in our ascension So we're moving on a new path. And this new path is a faith of knowing that everything is as it's meant to be. Not trying to change things, change anyone. Just coming in to ourselves, feeling and nurturing ourselves. And then we have the King and Queen of Swords, Enlightenment. They are connected to the higher consciousness bringing in those light codes those sacred holy Christed light codes they're not looking anywhere they're not thinking about anything else their mind is clear they are connected to the higher consciousness and this is the divine feminine and the divine masculine coming together bringing in this beautiful divine creation. So as we open our minds and the king and queen of swords are very intelligent. They've gone through all the swords, the swords suit to get to this. And this, the swords suit is very, it's quite challenging. It's very, very healing and informative but it, it lets us know where our challenges are in our minds and they have come through all that so the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain are beautifully balanced so bringing our, our crowns into balance allowing them to become soft and open filling with peace filling with enlightenment filling with these sacred codes that are flowing to earth now and will come into our hearts and into every cell of our body and out in into every area of our lives into all space all directions of space and time so there's a powerful and beautiful activation upgrade download occurring everything is occurring in this time allowing allowing the kundalini to rise to come up to activate our pineal our pituitary glands our third eye our crown so that we can sit and allow this fountain of light to just cleanse and clear us of anything that is not of our authentic divine blueprint so a beautiful day today I'm sending so much love to anyone who is going through any kind of challenges so I'm asking now for a message from the Cal Gray asking for a message the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video just looking there for okay there we have the ancestral realm our ancestors gathering around bringing through their ancient wisdom through the 
root chakra through our base chakra allowing our kundalini to rise bringing in all the wisdom now from our ancestors all the wisdom from our past lives the healed part of our ancestors that's coming through now because we've done all that work so this is coming through feeling them feeling their presence feeling their love listening to their guidance so beautiful time that's steeped in ancestral connection our ancestral our ancestral wisdom and then i'm just coming to anastasis as well some extra guidance and these beautiful flowers were given to me on the 1212 portal by a beautiful friend and they are still blooming now and it seems that they're going to to stay in their beautiful flowering till past the 25th so I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective for anyone who views this video so there we have again channel your knowledge this is divine wisdom so it's coming up from our roots and in through our crown and it'll meet within our hearts our higher heart coming into balance and merging together and fertilizing fertilizing our so our, our seeds of manifestation the pure seeds of manifestation our uniqueness this is a beautiful time of coming and bringing the energy up from the heart of mother earth and from the the heart of the galactic center coming in and merging within our heart space and just doing that there is a beautiful integration bringing us into alignment to who we are, are truly at the very core of our authenticity of our soul so a beautiful time of rebirth as the sun starts to grow from tomorrow which is beautiful the light starts to come in and we are, we we feel the upliftment when the light starts to come through so feel that upliftment within bringing and merging with our ancestral lineage the wisdom the healed wisdom from all our past lives all our ancestors connecting now to the heavenly realms, to the Christed light. So what a beautiful reading for Christmas Eve. So whatever you're doing, I'm sending you so much love and healing to anyone who needs it. And please let go, come out of your head. Don't overthink things. Don't overanalyze things, just let it be. And as we let it be, miracles do, do start to fill our lives. So I'm sending so much love and healing to anyone who needs it. Thank you for listening. God bless. Thank you.